Welcome to the session on economic dispatch in power systems. Uh, here uh, we will take a simple problem and we will learn how to find out the optimal dispatch and the total cost of operating. And uh, in the forthcoming video, we will learn how to develop a MATLAB code for this problem and to generate the output. So first we will understand the terminologies used here. Here we have three letters C1, C2, C3. So the C indicates cost. C indicates cost and the capital P indicates the power generator, real power generator. Power generated in megawatts. So as you can see here, there are three thermal power plants. So let me take this power plant one, power plant two and power plant three. So there are three thermal power plants. So there will be uh, there will be some cost involved in operating a particular power plant, right? So that cost is C1. So uh, uh, so C1 is the cost involved in operating the power plant one. C2 is the cost involved in operating the power plant two. C3 is the cost involved in operating the power plant three and P1 is the total real power generated in power plant one. P2 is the total power generated in power plant two and P3 is that one generated in the power plant three. Now the logic uh, here is they we know the we know that they have given us the cost functions. C1 is equal to an equation of, in terms of P1. C2 is an equation in terms of P2. C3 is an equation in terms of P3. That means the cost is nothing but the function of real power. So here uh, the total load demand is PD is 800 megawatts. So here we want a, a load uh, to be, we want the load of 800 megawatts to be met by these three power plants. So the, law, uh, the expectation here is to find out an optimal schedule. Optimal schedule means uh, you know the cost function of operating power plant 1, 2 and 3 individually. So in what combination if you operate the power plant, you can meet the low demand at a minimized cost. That is our expectation. That is what we are going to calculate it. So uh, the maximum capacity of P1, P2, P3 may vary. So we should also take into account that uh, what is the maximum generating capacity of individual power plant and how it can be operated, whether it can be operated fully or whether it can be operated partially or to some percentage and in what combination we can operate the power plants to meet the power demand. Okay, right. Now here we have not considered the line losses and the generator limits. Here we have taken this problem from a uh, book uh, where they have referred the cost in terms of dollars per hours. Now, mathematically, so uh, so in order to ease this process, we have, uh, we have a formalized equations. So, so the cost function is generally written like this. So, CI is equal to alpha I plus Theta i into p i plus gamma i into p i square. So here i is equal to number of buses. So you can here there are three. Sorry, number of sorry number of power plants. Here we have three power plants. So it's C one, C two, C three. So all these values we'll be calling it as alpha. All these coefficients we call it as beta, and all these coefficients are called we call it as gamma. Alpha 1, beta 1, gamma 1, alpha 2, beta 2, gamma 2, alpha 3, beta 3, and gamma 3. So, uh, there are only methods to solve this problem. So we are going to use another analytical So, in analytical method, uh, we have this formula. We will be first finding lambda. Okay, so we have this formula uh, lambda summation of i is equal to one to number of buses n lambda minus b beta i divided by two times gamma i is equal to it is e d. 
So this is we usually call this as a, a coordination equation. Now first we will find out what is the expression of lambda. So from this we bring all these tan side parts beta to gamma to that side. So we can write this equation like this: e d plus summation of beta divided by two times gamma i divided by one summation of one divided by two times gamma. I. So when you when you expand this, so when you expand this, what will take? Lambda is equal to it is p d plus. So summation of i means i i is nothing but one two one three. So you will be getting like this: beta one divided by two gamma one plus beta two divided by two gamma two. Yes, beta three divided by two gamma one divided by gamma one plus one divided by two gamma two plus one divided by two gamma three. As I already told you, you know all the values. Beta one is five, beta two five point five, beta three five point eight. Gamma one is zero point zero zero four, gamma two zero point zero zero six. Gamma three zero point zero zero nine, and the total power demand it is given eight hundred megawatts. So when you substitute everything, you will get the lambda value as eight point five dollar per megawatt hour. Now with this, I am going to use the coordination equation. So we know coordination equation is. It is p. It is lambda minus beta i divided by two times gamma i. So now we have three units now: p one, p two, p three. So we have to calculate for p one, p two, p three separately. So it is p one equal to lambda minus beta one divided by two gamma one. For p two, it is p two equal to lambda minus beta two divided by two gamma two. For P3, it is lambda minus beta 3 divided by 2 gamma 3. So we know lambda is 8.5. Just now we have calculated beta 1 is 5.3 divided by 2 into 0.004. That is P2 is 8.5 minus 5.5 divided by 2 into 0.006. Then it is 8.5 minus 5.8 divided by 2 into 0.009. So when you solve this, you will be getting P1 is 400 megawatts. This is 250 megawatts and 150 megawatts. So what do you understand from this? So uh, in order to uh, get the lowest Operating cost. You have to operate the power plant one to generate 400 megawatts. You have to operate power plant two to generate 250 megawatts. You have to operate power plant three to generate 150 megawatts. So all together, you can see it is 800 megawatts. That means our load demand is met. So this is the proper way. This is the optimal way of operating the three power plants so that the entire total operating cost will be the least one. So in order to find the total operating cost, we can we have the direct. You know, we'll take this equation. So we have this equation. So what we can do is, so C T. C T is nothing but total cost is it is C one plus C two plus C three. So wherever you have P one, you substitute. Uh, what is P one? It is four hundred, right? So you substitute four hundred here, four hundred square. Here then P two is two fifty. This is two fifty square. This is one fifty. And this is 150 square. So substitute 
and uh, expand it. Add all the three costs. So you will be getting. Around six, six, eight, two point five. Dollar. Total cost for this given problem. In the uh, next video, we will be learning how to write a MATLAB code for this and to execute it. The link for that video is also given in the description box. Thank you for listening.